All right, welcome back. It is time for Nobody Ask You. We are answering the Internet's burning questions, and even though they didn't ask us specifically per se, we're going to give them our answers anyway. Let's hear our first question. Okay. Here we go. I love my brother's girlfriend. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, since they started dating, we are best friends, but honestly, my brother is terrible. Oh. He can't keep a job for more than a week. He texts other women. He doesn't help with any housework or cook. How do I tell her that she's too good for him, even though he's my family? An anonymous note. Yeah. I would do an anonymous note. Disguise your handwriting. Maybe do an email. Why can't you Create just a tell your Gmail wife? account. Send an email. I don't know how it works in your family, but if that was me being the bad brother, or if it was my brother being the bad brother, mm -hmm. there would be a meeting where you'd have them up against the wall, the drywall, slapping them around, going, what the heck is wrong with you? Oh. Get your together, or I'm going to knock you out. Your what together? Your stuff. Oh, my gosh. Your life. Oh, no, 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 not me. I'm approaching cautiously from the side, and I'll tell them via email, and then I'll be like, that is crazy someone said that to you. They raised some good points, though. But I don't see what's wrong with even telling the girl, he's a deadbeat. You deserve better. It's hard when it's but your this family, thing though. Was, you don't want to create was discord. Written, what I don't like about it, this thing was written like there was an ulterior motive. Like, we're best friends, we hang out. Oh, you know? well, of course it, he's saying, yeah. yeah. You know. He wants to be with her. Maybe this That's brother's weird. not a deadbeat, you know. You deserve better, no? These were French brothers. Oh, <laughs> were they? Okay. Mm. Okay, so what's our answer to that? Let, let him know. Stand up. Some way. But that he if needs you do to care about up. this girl, st don't take her from your brother, but stand up for her and approach your brother and say, straighten your life out. You got out. a great girl. Treat yeah. her better. Jeez. Okay, our next question asker is having some trouble with toast. This is a hard question. I've been making toast for most of my life, but I have no clue. Should you wait a couple minutes so the toast is still crunchy, but the butter sits on top? Or should I spread it on there straight out of the toaster to where the butter seeps through, but it is soggy? Okay. It's just preference, friend. It's whatever you want. I like to put the butter on while it's super hot so that yeah. it's spreadable and it seeps in. And then you've got a nice base layer for whatever type of delicious jam you're putting on top. Let me tell you something. What I have been doing in order to get in shape is to avoid toast. Right. So today I go to a breakfast lunch thing and they put toast on there. I don't really want toast, but they put it on. But my other option was a biscuit. <laughs> so they put toast on there. And what does Beelzebub do? She brings in some delicious blackberry jam. Two scoops, one for her and one for me. Tempting me, putting it out there, just like Eve with the apple. Mm hmm I saw that, and of course I ate it. Okay, I'm sorry that my friendliness and just trying to be oh, nice to other yeah. people, everyone at the table is stronger than your willpower. So sorry about it. So I just say, what do you, what do we say about the butter? Thank you. <laughs> I oh. say thank you and good night. I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. I love um, one of the best bits ever. My buddy Brett Leak, a brilliant comic who I've talked about, says his mother used to use the I can't believe it's butter containers. It's to, not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Right. To put things. Oh, my grandmother always did. You never knew what and you were going to And find. that's a wonderful idea until you're looking for butter. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it's not butter again. For me, it was, it was <laughs> sugar-free Cool Whip at my grandmother's house. Every Tupperware container was the What's old Cool Whip. What's that taste like? It tastes great, actually. Okay. Filled with fake product, well, it, but it tastes great. But back to the butter question. Sure. What are we supposed to decide for this person? Oh, I prep, personally, I butter it as soon as it comes out, even if it burns my fingers when I'm holding the toast. All right, I'm with you, fellas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how do I tell my friend he's just not that into you? My best friend has been talking to this guy for months. She's falling for him, but he's obviously not that into her. He's very short in their text exchanges, and he's always blowing off plans that they've made. I know he's just going to hurt her. What should I say? Nothing. Okay. I have a friend who, get, who gave great advice one time. If you're ever interested in someone, but you're not sure what's going on there, do an old-fashioned pros and cons list. But the cons are good ways he makes you feel and or the pros are the good feelings he gives you the cons are the things he makes you feel that are bad uh -huh. and if the list on one side is he makes me feel like crap when he constantly cancels plans 
he makes me feel stupid when he sends me one word answer. Like it, if the person tends to make you feel junky most of the time, probably not that great for you to have them involved in your life. Well, but you may be able to change them. Nope, can't change That's them. That's the golden rule them. I go by. The other, Just hang in there, you can change them. The other advice that I've been given and I stick to to this day is if he wanted to, he would. If he wanted to see you, he would see you. If he wanted to talk to you, he would talk to you. If he's not doing one of those things, he doesn't want to. Hmm. So move on. You're well. too good.